What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to copy music from your old iPod Classic to your computer. Uh, so I have a couple iPod Classics back here, one of them is plugged in and one of them is not, and um, we're going to be copying music from them using Copy Trends. Um, this is a paid program, don't worry, after I'm going to show you a free way to copy the music that will work as well. Uh, so before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed and I hate to see that number. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, uh, go ahead and click on that sub button below. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out the program itself. This is Copy Trans Control Center and you use it to install and run various Copy Trans apps. The ones we're using is Copy Trans. Um, easy enough. Go ahead and click on start. And when it loads up, it's going to try and detect the iPod. It's going to take a few seconds, but if it's plugged in, it should detect just fine. Um, you shouldn't have to go into any kind of recovery mode. Uh, if iTunes can see it, Copy Trends can see it. All right, so there it is. And in a few moments, uh, the iPod should connect. We'll cross our fingers, and there it is. Uh, Mike Rodriguez, and it's got the drive letter K. The initial way that we'll see the menu is in the simple mode. Um, this mode basically says, where do you want to back it up to iTunes or to a folder? Um, we can simply choose folder and go there or use what's known as classic mode, where it actually lets us choose the specific songs that we want to back up. You can choose by playlist. You can choose by um, artist. However you want to actually choose those songs, you can do that. So we'll go back to simple mode. And let's choose folder, for example, because we want them to go to a folder. Um, it'll let you choose where you want that saved. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to the music folder and press OK. And it's going to start backing up everything. Um, I did run into one issue with the uh, app. I don't want to say it's the app itself um, because it was a corrupt music file on my device. What happens is when it gets to that corrupt music file, this um, simple backup mode will stop backing up and just infinitely wait because it's corrupt and it can't be copied. So it's never successful and it never moves to the next song. Unfortunately, they don't have multiple threads that can keep on downloading the rest of the songs while it continues or identifies that the song is broken. So for me, this um, backup actually stopped halfway through and I couldn't continue. But I do have a fix. Um, so what we can do if you want to use the app and you're having that issue, you can actually go back to classic mode. So if you tried to run the scan in simple mode and it stopped at a certain song, you can remember what song um, it stopped at. And you can actually scroll down and find that song and say, all right, I want to copy everything but those two songs um, or whatever happens to be the song that is giving the error. And then you can attempt the backup again and just go to start backup and it will let you, um, again, choose to back up the rest of the files, minus the corrupt songs. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, if you can't get it to work through the app, um, there's also a way to do it manually. Uh, so we can actually go into our file explorer here and go to our drive for the iPod. And if you don't already have hidden files turned on, you're gonna wanna go to um, your view options, and show hidden items. And that's gonna let you see the iPod control folder. In the iPod control folder, you have a music folder. This is where all your music is stored. Unfortunately, it's in a really gross format. They're just in regular folders named weird things. And the file names are actually named weird things as well. But the metadata, which has the title, author, length of the song, all that good stuff, um, is intact for all of your music because it's been created in iTunes. So if you right-click on one of these and go to Properties, we can go to Details, and we'll see that the song name is Vitamin, um, from the artist Incubus, from the album Science, Year 97, Track 2, genre, rock, the length of the song, the quality, the publisher, um, composers, all the information is still here. So plenty of information for your uh, music programs to go off of to actually identify the music. It's just the file names that aren't that good. So all you have to do to copy this over is copy this entire music folder onto your PC. There are applications that will let you rename um, 
an entire folder and all of the assets within it, so all the MP3 files, based on the metadata. So you may want to look into one of those programs to organize it, or you can just drop it into a program like Plex or your favorite music player, and it will automatically load all of that data for you. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the program. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.